What's going on YouTube? Regulation G is finally here. I am so excited. This is our first Regulation G video. Normally, when a new regulation gets announced, you guys might have noticed, I put out videos right away. Boom, 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 day one, day two. But what I wanted to do, because Regulation G is so important to me, I love single restricted formats. They are possibly my favorite formats in VGC. Um, I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I just love them so much. It feels like every team has like a boss monster, and you have to protect the boss monster. That's why I love single restricted. I just think it's really, 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 really cool. And I actually think it enables a lot of niche strategies. Now, double restricted, that's a different story. I hate it. But single restricted, really, really good. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually take some time. I wanted to test some teams. And I wanted to bring to you guys what I think is the best team for Regulation G. What is the best restricted in Regulation G. And I am going out on a limb. And I am saying right now that Groudon is going to win Worlds. Now, maybe not this team, maybe not specifically this six, but this core of Groudon, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, and Fluttermane is going to win Worlds. It's just so strong. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this team that I've built for you guys. We have loads of replays to show you, which is awesome. Um, I've played like over, <clears throat> I would say I've tested this team already over 50 times on Showdown. And um, it's really, really good. It has answers into almost everything. Let's get into the heart and soul of this team, which is Groudon. Um, Groudon has clear amulet um, because Incineroar is probably the best Pokemon in the format. So we really, really don't want to be taking those parting shots and those Intimidates. Um, also, Icy Wind Drops. Um, there's just a whole lot of things in the meta right now that Groudon doesn't want to deal with. He has enough bulk. This team supports him. This team can heal him. So Clear Amulet is really good. Um, Terra Grass on Groudon is amazing, right? It does so well into things that you're going to see see in the format um it helps you wall water pond it's really good into grass pond which is going to pick up in usage um it's really good into the sun mirror when they have a moongus so you're immune to spore um it's really good um into things like lilligant in the sun mirror you're immune to sleep powder um it's just very 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 strong now the one thing you have to watch out for is if you do go terra grass um you need to have some strong answers into your opponent's fire types um which includes your own precipice blades and speed control options um but just a really really strong bulky pokemon it sets up the sun it does so much damage um honestly I'm clicking Heat Crash more than I'm clicking Precipice Blades. We're knocking out Flutter Mains. We're doing major damage to Ogre Ponds. Like, Heat Crash is a very, very, very slept on move. So, Groudon is the heart and soul of this team, and we have two ways to support it. We have Groudon Balance, which is Incineroar. I'm not going to talk too much about Incineroar. It's a tale as old as time. Intimidate. Terra Grass for the mirror. Really, really good stuff. Raging Bolt gets the Protosynthesis boost. I like an AV Bolt, especially in this new format where the power has crept up a little bit. I think Calm Mind Bolt is just a little bit too slow to set up. So I really like AV Bolt. I like Terra Bug. I know it's unique. You guys might be wondering why. Um, Lando Eye is still a very, very strong Pokemon. And Lando Eye threatens Raging Bolt with Earth Power. So then you go Terra Fairy. But once you're Terra Fairy, now he can hit you with a Sludge Bomb. So I needed something that I can dodge super effective hits from Lando Eye. And that's what this Raging Bolt is able to do. Um, Fluttermane, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, it's Choice Specs Fluttermane. When it's in Sun, it gets the booster speed, which I think is really important. Very, very strong core. And then our last two is Amoongus and Porygon 2. What's really interesting about this is this gives us a Trick Room mode, which is really, really good versus those Hyper Offense Tailwind teams. That's why this is called Sun Room, um, because you can go Balance and you can go Trick Room. This team has a lot of different types of speed control. You just have to find it. Icy Wind, Electro Web, 
Trick Room. There are ways to control the pace of the game with this team, no matter what you're playing against, and that's what makes it so strong. Porygon is one of the best um, Trick Room setters, in my opinion. Um, Taunt is not really running around in a format like this, and if it is, just play around it. Um, we are Terra Ghost, which is really, really unique. Um, this Porygon can go Terra Ghost and one-shot a Calyrex Shadow. Most Calyrex Shadows will not be clicking Astro Barrage in front of Porygon. Um, they're going to be clicking Expanding Force. So what we can do is get that return one-hit knockout, which is really, really cool. Um, Ice Beam is here for Lando I. I have a lot of respect for Lando I. I also have respect for Lando T. Because Lando T is actually really, really good into this team. Um, I think it's a Pokemon that might be picking up in usage. Um, because it helps to wall Groudon a little bit. Good into Ensign, good into Bolt, um, neutral into Fluttermain. So if I see Lando I on a very fast team, I am more than happy to bring in Porygon. And really, really just hit those Ice Beams, right? Um, Amoongus, Rocky Helmet, Protect, Rage Power, Pollen Puff, Spore. Um, you can drop the Protect for... Um, Sludge Bomb, I see a lot of people playing right now. You could put Clear Smog if you're afraid of your Dondozo matchup. But for now, as is, this team is really strong. Um, I really do love this team. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, the way this works is if we can get more than 10 comments on this video, I will release the Pokey Paste for this team, which will give you guys all of the spreads for this team. But I promise you, Sun Room Groudon is broken. This is not a meme. This is not me having fun. This team is legit. So enjoy the video. Enjoy the team. Drop a like, a comment, a sub, all that good stuff. Yeah. Enjoy the show. Alrighty, here we go. And looks like we got some Terra Normal E Speed Rayquaza stuff going on. Um, we got Torn, we got Fluttermane, Dango, Fire, Ogre. This is a very, 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 very hyper offensive team, um, which is really, really interesting, um, all things considered here. Um, now, one thing to note about Rayquaza is he's either clear amulet or he's like choice band. Um, choice band's actually a little bit easier to deal with here. Um, but I also want to respect. Um, I want to respect Tornadus as a lead as well, so I think I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for these two here. I think, um, or do I just want to go for the the Incineroar lead? Right, just apply pressure almost immediately. Um, try to get some bulk ups in. That would be pretty nice. The problem is, is that's really bad versus Tailwind, right? Uh, I guess I just bring Instant in the back, and then I definitely think I want Flutter as my last Mon here. Um, it's pretty interesting, because I don't have too much experience versus Rayquaza. Um, you really don't see Rayquaza on Showdown. Um, I think Rayquaza has a lot of weaknesses, but because I haven't tested against it, I really don't know how much damage my moves are doing, you know? Uh, so this is definitely going to be an interesting, an interesting game for me. Um, but we got Groudon, Raging Bolt here. They do lead Torn, so I actually feel really good about this lead for me. <clears throat> yeah, I feel really good about this lead. Um, they can start spamming that good old-fashioned Tailwind, but this is still pretty good for me. I almost just want to double attack right here on turn one. Um, I almost just want to double attack right here on turn one, right? Um, I could just go for something like um, Heat Crash here, and then I can switch into Ensign. I can go for like an Electro Web here. Um, I think I want to go Heat Crash, and then do I want to use my Terra, um, or do I want to just swap into Incineroar, eat this possible Moon Blast? Um. Uh, because I can save my Terra for later. Um, but it's probably Rayquaza in the back, right? Alright, this might be bad. I'm gonna go Bug so that I can live a Moonblast here. Um, that was a really tough turn for me because I was trying to decide whether or not I'm committing my Terra here. 
Um, but I think this play is fine. Um, I think I really did want to get this Electro Web damage into the Torn slot here. Um, he just goes for Tailwind, so I don't know if this is going to be Moonblast or Gleam. I guess I'm hoping for Gleam, yeah. Maybe the instant switch would have been really nice here, but Heat Crash is just going to Oko, um, which is really, really nice. Um, Heat Crash and Sun just goes insane. So we pick up the Flutter for free. Now we get a single target Electro Web into the Torn, um, which is going to do a lot of damage as well. Almost picks up, which is kind of insane, right? So now we put this Torn in a position where I can Thunderclap him. Um, I can just protect um, E Web here. All right, so there is the Rayquaza. Now, Rayquaza feels pretty good here. Um, he gets rid of my Protosynthesis. He also could just go for a flying move into me, um, which is kind of insane when you really think about it. I think I'm going to swap Groudon into Incin here. And then the question is, is do I want to bother Thunderclapping the Torn? Uh, because I feel like Rayquaza might just one-shot the Giraffe here. Um, yeah, I think I Thunderclap to get rid of Torn here. Um... Yeah, and then hopefully this works out for me. I think this is a good play. I'm assuming this guy has like Dragon Ascent or something. If he just goes for Swords Dance, that'd be really bad. But I really don't know. Like, I don't know if it's Banded, if it's Clear Amulet. Okay, so it's not Clear Amulet. So he might be Choice Banded. They're going for Terrastalization. Is this Terrastalization on Torn? On Rayquaza. Normal? Okay, so Terra Normal Rayquaza here. Um, arguably better for me, because now Groudon can come in and hit a Precipice Blades on him. He actually goes for E-Speed. Wow, I was really thinking we'd get a flying move here. Um, now Thunderclap's gonna go ahead and pick up the Torn, which is really nice. Um, now Incineroar pressures the Fake Out, which once again is pretty decent here. I wonder if he's Choice Banded. I wonder if he's choice banded, right? Um, wonder, 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 wonder if he's choice banded. I almost want to just swap out the instant here. Um, sacred sword into the instant slot could make some sense because I want to get off another intimidate here. I think I'm going to take a big risk by swapping into Fluttermane here. Uh, big risk swapping into Fluttermane. And then I am going to Thunderclap. Uh, I'm going to Thunderclap the Chen Pao here. Because I think he's locked into E-Speed. He wants to Sacred Sword Incineroar. Or he just wants to Protect here. Um, but yeah, th this is definitely risky. But I think this is the right play, alright? Um, the way this goes wrong is if he Ice Spinnered Incineroar, right? Which I could just I just can't see that, you know? Um, he goes for E-Speed into Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt, hold! Nah, Raging Bolt does not hold. Alright, this has to be Sacred Sword here, or else we're in a little bit of trouble. Um, please don't be Ice Spinner. 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 Okay, alright. So, we lose the Raging Bolt, but we get off another Intimidate here, which is absolutely huge. Let's go, Ensign! That's why we gend you in, baby! With Gen in Sun Room just does not care. Oh baby, we love a good Sun team. All right, so now the question is, how do we win, right? Is it Razzle Dazzle or is it Moonblast? Because Dazzle's not gonna do enough, I don't think, is the issue. Um, I think it's Dazzle though. I think Dazzle is the play, and then we're just going to go ahead and. Because what is he going to do? He's just going to E-speed my Ensign? Like, I kind of don't care. Um, fake out the Chen Pao here? Um, what does Chen Pao protect? I'm just going to fake out the Chen Pao here. Yes! Yes! Let's go, baby! My opponent read that I'm going to fake out the Rayquaza here, but it just doesn't matter, right? This does no damage. Yeah, Ensign lives two of those. With Citrus Berry, I might even live three. Uh, so this is a big Razzle Dazzle in Sun Specs. Get him out of here, baby! The Sun team doesn't care about your Terra Normal Rayquaza. Tailwind peters out. We're feeling really, really good here. Um, I'm locked into the Razzle Dazzles. 
Um, I guess I could just go for a Flare Blitz here. We prefer not to knock off, and the battle was canceled just like that. GG, shout out to my opponent, but the Sun team was just too hot. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go, and my opponent is running some nonsense. He's got Snow with Sand Slash. Just a random Urshifu just there. <laughs> uh, with Lunala. Um, how do I want to play this? I almost kind of just want to go Flutter plus... Flutter plus Groudon, right? Because Groudon's slower than Ninetales, so I'll get Sun up. Um, he can switch in the Ninetales, but then you're switching into, like, big damage, right? Um, he could go for, like, Trick Room on the Lunala... Uh, but his team's not that slow. Could go for Ndidi. Maybe he's gonna go for, like, um, Psychic Terrain or something like that. Expanding Force. I can have Instant in the back if I'm afraid of that. And then, do I want Porygon or do I want Raging Bolt here? Um, Raging Bolt's good into Urshifu, assuming that's Water Urshifu. Um... Lunala, I mean, if he sets up Trick Room, I guess, I guess Raging Bolt is also just fine here. Um, yeah, part of me wanted to bring Porygon to this matchup, but I think it's the same four. I keep just running into some really, really weird teams here, um, so it's kind of hard to, um, to fully decide what I want to do here, because we're getting a lot of, um, best of one stuff right now. Which, that's okay. It's the beginning of the format. People want to test all their random stuff. Um, they don't really want to commit to their strong balance teams. But we all know eventually this is just going to become strong balance teams. Alright, so we do have Water Urshifu. But now we have Chlor... I just realized that I'm giving that thing over there Chlorophyll. Which is kind of insane, right? Um, I think I want to go Terra Grass here. And then, do I want to bulk up right in front of them? <clears throat> or do I just want to get some damage down onto, onto their side of the field? I almost just want to get bulk up right in their face, honestly. <clears throat> I almost just want to bulk up right in their face. And then, I guess I want to go for Dazzling Gleam here. Um, Icy Wind could be interesting. They're gonna have to hit a Sleep Powder, right? That's just the name of the game. Um, they led Lilligant into Sun, which was smart. But now, now you have to hit a Sleep Powder. Because I'm um, not worried about Surging Strikes into either slot because Sun is up. Um, if you Sleep Powder Groudon, you wasted your turn. They go for Detect. Now, who are you Sleep Powdering? And please tell me it's Groudon. Solar Blade! Is that into Groudon or Flutter? Oh, it's into Groudon. Nice! Alright, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, so now we get the Dazzling Gleam off into Lilligant. Are you Focus Sash? You are Focus Sash. Okay, cool. That is a good turn one for me. <clears throat> That is a pretty good turn one for me. So now the question becomes, do I want to risk Flutter taking damage here? Or do I just want to go for my P-Blades here? Because he could Solar Blade the Flutter, right? And that would be pretty bad. He's definitely not going to CC it. I could switch into Giraffe here, actually. I was thinking of switching into Incin for Fake Out Pressure. Um, but I guess Solar Blade, Surging Strikes. No, I think Incin is just totally safe here. Let's go instant. Because if they go for sleep powder, then I'll be... I don't want my flutter main to fall asleep in this matchup. I definitely want to save my flutter main here. So I think P-Blade switch into instant is a really good play for me, right? Um, let's see what they go for here. Um, they switch out their Urshifu. Okay. Uh, what are you bringing in? What are you bringing in? And does it take a P-Blade? Nine tails. Okay, so they changed the weather. Interesting. Oh, they triple Axel? <laughs> oh, man. Nice! They only got the one hit! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Alright, that's really, really, really good damage here. <clears throat> All 
Alright, that's really good damage here. The thing is, is now they can bring back the, um, the Urshifu, and that's pretty bad. <clears throat> um, they could also go for Blizzard into Groudon, which is pretty bad as well. Um, but I think I have to bank on the fact that maybe I live a Blizzard. Do you want to bring in Sand Slash here? <clears throat> Alright, they bring in Urshifu. This is a very interesting turn. Um, this is a very interesting turn, right? Because now they have Surging Strikes, right? They have Surging Strikes. I think I need to... I think I want to Heat Crash you. Right? I want to make sure that I don't miss a Precipice Blades on the important target here. And then I'm going to go for Fake Out into the Urshifu here. Um, if their last mod is Ndidi, I'll be so hurt. Okay. So we fake out. Now I just need to live a blizzard on my, on my Groudon. Oh, they go for Aurora Veil. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Alright, very interesting. So here's the thing. Um, we have a 4 mod advantage. Um, I kind of want to swap out the Groudon here and maybe even sack the Incineroar. Get the sun back up so that Fluttermane always wins, right? This is the good thing about having bulk up Groudon is like you can still make these really, really nice plays. Um, so I'm going to switch out into Giraffe. This might be a sack, um, but it kind of is what it is. Uh, I am going to Flare Blitz into the Sand Slash slot, and we're going to hope for the best here. Um, it's four times effective. It is in Snow, so he does get the Snow buff. Um, so I don't think it'll KO per se. Um, but I think Groudon plus um, Fluttermane is just like the way we win this, right? Every time. <clears throat> <clears throat> Because Fluttermane and Sun is just going to go insane, right? Alright, so he goes Terra Ice, which is interesting here. You know, maybe I made a mistake here. Maybe I was supposed to sack the Groudon. Um, but I, I I don't know. I think this is fine. I'm definitely probably dead here. Yep. Um, now, he is in Terra Water. My Ensign should be able to live a Surging Strikes with, um, with Citrus Berry, I think. Yeah, yeah, we live that. We live that every day of the week. Yo, Insane is such a, such a, such a good boy. <laughs> Insane is such a good boy. Oh, we love to see this. Now we get a flat, uh, fat flare blitz into that sand slash, which means it should go down to, um, it should go down to, um, Dazzling Gleam, which is what we want. Because we don't want him to be in a position where he could protect. Ah, that's a little scary. <clears throat> But I think that's fine. Um, we bring in our good friend Keanu Reeves. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Do I call the Protect? I think I do call Protect. And I Moonblast you. And then I switch to Groudon here. I think we definitely call Protect here. Because uh, Dazzling Gleam might not pick up. But Moonblast might be enough here. So we set up the sun, we make sure our flutter is faster. Now we have flutter in sun. Um, so surging strikes, even if he's surging strikes the flutter, like I just don't care, right? My flutter should live. My flutter's pretty bulky here. Yep, there's the protect. We call that. All right, moon blast. Pick up, 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 pick up. Nice. Let's go, chat. That is what you love to see. Love to win the weather wars, baby. And that is the strength of Groudon, man. Terra Grass Groudon is so good. We just put on so much pressure. Um, nothing really to do here but hit P-Blades. Yep, battle is cancelled. GG's to my opponent, but he could not take the heat. Yeah. Alrighty, so this is a really interesting looking team. They actually have a great tusk, which um, I'm going to enable. So that's a little bit scary here. Um, they have Grass Pawn. Um, which is pretty good for them. Um, they got Suicune, which is pretty solid. Um, Vicavolt. They, they have a pretty interesting team with the Dialga. They definitely have a Trick Room mode that they could go into with Dialga, which would probably be really good for them. Um, I'm trying to decide if I just want to go Flutter Main to exert as much pressure as possible turn one. Um, 
because in Sun, Fluttermane outspeeds everything that they have, even if the guy goes grassy terrain here. Um, so that could be like a lot of pressure on turn one, which could be really, really good. Um, I also have the option of going with um, our good friend Giraffe Jesus, um, which seems like it'd be pretty strong into most of this. It'd be good into a Suicune lead, because um, they could pressure me with Tailwind. Um, and that could get a little bit oppressive, but they also have the option to go like Trick Room as well. Um, which can be scary here. I think I'm going to go Raging Bolt with Fluttermane and Amoongus in the back. Um, I think Amoongus has a pretty good matchup into almost everything here. Um, I can spread spores, I can Rage Powder, um, so even if Trick Room goes up, I can either stall it out. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I can go for like a bulk up strategy on my Groudon and just start setting him up. That might be pretty good. Alright, so they lead Ogre Pond plus Suicune. So, the thing about Ogre Pond here is, now that he has Defiant, um, I can't Electro Web freely, which is definitely scary, right? Definitely, definitely scary. But I still have some plays here. Like, I definitely want to go Terra Grass, 100%. And I, and I want to... Do I want to bulk up here? Take the bulk up and then start spamming, like, P-Blades or something like that? Um, or do I just take the Heat Crash so then, then I can start spamming Electro Web, right? I just don't know if Heat Crash kills. I feel like in Sun, Heat Crash probably actually just kills here. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, that could possibly spell Doom here. Um, I'm not- I guess I could just follow up with a Deep Pulse as well here. I guess, um, I'm just not feeling too much threat from the Suicune, so I think this play is fine. If he goes for Spiky Shield, I'd be really surprised. Um, and I'll really regret not going for the bulk up, but I just don't see Spiky Shield in this scenario here. I think he feels really good about being able to attack with the Ogre Pond here. Um, he goes for Stomping Tantrum. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a pretty good move. That's going to do really good damage into my Giraffe here. I would love for this to knock out. Nice. Um, so now if I had Incineroar in the back, that would have been a lot more powerful here. Now he does have a chance to go for Tailwind, um, which is really interesting. I get a Stab um, plus one Dragon Pulse. That's pretty good damage here. Um, he's going for Scald. As long as this doesn't burn, I'm kind of fine. Ignore my alarm. Okay, we got the no burn. That's really, really thankful. Uh, I have some alarms set for... Uh, I'm supposed to be going to the gym and then work, uh, but... These games have been taking quite a while here. Me <laughs> Mega Don fan. What a Giga Chad. What an absolute Giga Chad. I love that for them. Mega Don fan, huh? Alright, um, so what do I want to do here? I really want to bulk up, but he's going to spam Scald, which is scary. So I think I just want to get some damage with P-Blades down. Um... I could Thunderclap and just give up Giraffe, right? Like, what What else is Giraffe good into? Yeah, I'm actually down to Thunderclap and just give up on Giraffe here. Yeah, yeah, I'm down to Thunder... Thunderclap the Suicune here. <clears throat> Ooh! <clears throat> Never mind, that's bad. Alright, I mean, Dialga switches into P-Blades, right? So that's still pretty good for me. Um, but I do lose, um, I do lose my guy here. <clears throat> um, Terra Ground? Yeah. Alright, um, Raging Bolt, you are a goner. Oh, is this Earthquake because of Telepathy? If this is Telepathy Earthquake, that's genuinely pretty cool. <clears throat> if this is Telepathy Earthquake, that is genuinely pretty cool. So we don't miss the P-Blades, that's really important. Because we do so much damage to the Dialga. It is Telepathy P-Blades. Okay, so Groudon's still going to eat this up for the most part. Um, <clears throat> uh, Raging Bolt is a goner, though. Um, I still think that was probably worth it in the end. Um, I have to imagine that my Groudon is faster here. So now I can bring in Flutter. And I can just um, I can just threaten Moonblast into into the um, Don fan slot, right? Unless he's Choice Scarf. If he's Choice Scarf, then he got me. <clears throat> um, I didn't get to see what his booster was, though. I did not get to see what his booster was. If it was Booster Scarf, then he definitely got me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go for another P Blades here, for sure. And we are definitely going to Moonblast you. 
<laughs> All right, um, don't be scarf, 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 don't be scarf. I I wasn't paying attention to what the booster energy was, so that's my fault. Um, I should have perfect information, but I am bad at the video game. But I should be playing with perfect information. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All we have to do is not miss the speed blades, and that's a GG's. Woo! All right, I, I had a feeling it, it wasn't Scarf, but you know, you can never be too short. Don't do it, don't do it. Okay, <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that new stall, that new stall that came with the with a couple of patches ago. Oh, it's so troll. Uh, but that's GG's. And there you can see the power of Grass Groudon, right? Grass Groudon has won us almost every game that we put it in, right? Um, he Crash and Sun is just insane. Like, we are doing insane damage these games, you know? Um, but now we just hit the buttons, and that is a GG's. Um, yeah, that was a really good game. We played really, really well. So, shout out to my opponent, GG's to them. But, the sun was just too hot for him. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um... <laughs> but my opponent has all three flapples, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah. This is just Groudon Fluttermane, right? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. Um, Incin in the back. And do we want to respect the fact that they have 75 grass types and go for Paul Heyman with the Tribal Chief? Um, we could just heal him up. Um, or do we want to go something like Raging Bolt to get a little bit of priority going? Do we want the Porygon here? Set up a... Well, definitely don't want that. I'm just afraid this Chansey is gonna, like, is gonna, like, switch with them and just go insane. <clears throat> um... Is it just Raging... I mean, Raging Bolt has Dragon Pulse here, right? Just bring the Raging Bolt. <clears throat> <laughs> I wanted to bring a Moongus because I don't know what my opponent is planning. Uh, but my opponent is clearly trolling, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll have fun with this one. <clears throat> Let's see what my opponent has got in the tank. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Alright, so I feel like this is um this is power swap, right? This is definitely power swap. So the thing is, right, is even though this is like power swap or whatever this is, I'm just going to go in sicko mode here. I'm just going Precipice Blades and Terra Fairy Moonblast into you. <clears throat> um, I don't know what your strat is. If you go Terra Steel um, or Terra Poison, you're going to get caught by the Precipice Blades. Um... So I feel pretty good about this turn here. I know they're doing something. I know it's like skill swap into like some just absolute shenanigans. Uh, but I am not down for the shenanigans. So here we go. <clears throat> Alright, Fluttermane, get in there. <clears throat> Alright, Terra Steel or Terra Poison is what I predict. Which is why we Precipice Blades, right guys? Terra Fire? Well, it's the same premise. <laughs> Precipice Blade still covers. Uh, but Terra Fire is really good for them here. Alright, so here's the Moon Blast. Now, we just can't miss. Just please don't miss. That still did so much damage. Jesus, Fluttermane. No! Who did we miss? Who did I miss? No! <laughs> Alright, he just went for a heal pulse. I guess that's not the worst, but that's still pretty bad. Growth! Oh my god. Alright, um, we go for round two. <laughs> we go for round two. <clears throat> oh my god. Not the growth. Alright, I, I must admit that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to go for, like, some sort of skill swap shenanigans. Some sort of, like, ridiculous plan that I just can't get past. Um, but that was better than we thought. That was better than we thought, guys. <clears throat> Alright, we make the same exact play, except this time we don't miss the Precipice Blades. Here we go. Double special attack drop, because I'm a beast. Alright, we don't miss. That should be enough to knock out. Nice. Okay, good. 
Alright, so we got rid of their Terra. That should mean that Fluttermane could literally just Moonblast the rest of their team for the freest win in the history of mankind. But this is, um, it's important to note with Sun, um, even though this is a free win, this doesn't really count for anything. But it is important to note that you do have strong strategies into Cheese. Because yeah, this is a balanced team, and yeah, this is a Trick Room team. But when you just hit, when you just need to hit the word go, um, this team can just go when you need it to go, you know? Um, so that's what's really, really cool about this team. And the battle was canceled, free win, quick and easy, GG's. It turns out the sun was too hot for my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, gamers, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are some awesome games. As always, we had loads of fun. Um, remember, 10 comments will get you guys the pokey pace. Leave a like, a sub, anything. I am a small baby YouTuber. It means the world to me. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rental. Enjoy the pokey paste if we get more than 10 comments. Yeah.